My goodness, the Mozilla is hitting the news a lot these days. This is a developer, Raymond Hill, who made the browser extension uBlock. It's, you know, basically blocks ads. And uh, he pulled the extension due to what he describes as a nonsensical and hostile review from Mozilla. Mozilla flagged uBlock apparently for violating its policies, claiming it collected user data and used non-human readable code. The developer refuted these claims, stating the code was easily understandable and the extension didn't collect user data data. So the standard uBlock origin remains available, but the light doesn't. And uh, that one is actually supported by Firefox. And I guess he has not pulled that one yet. But the self-hosted uBlock origin light, users can download and install the light version manually from GitHub. Uh, if they want to, this version offers a lighter resource footprint, which some people prefer, but requires more technical knowledge. So why does this matter? Well, the situation highlights potential difficulties between, you know, developers and big companies, right? Uh, developers face... Uh, certainly a lot of challenges when it comes to having apps in their stores and the review process by companies, and in this case, Mozilla. And it raises concerns about transparency and clarity in those processes. So what do you guys think about this? And do you use Firefox? Uh, I did. I used to use Netscape way, way, way back in the day. And then I used to use Firefox for a very long time. And then, you know, the smartphones came out and Android and Chrome and all that stuff and this whole ecosystem. You know, I would imagine most of us are probably using Chrome still. And what I'm seeing lately um, that's happening with Mozilla is not really good. Uh, Firefox, you know, has been a trusted browser. And when people think of privacy and security, they think of Firefox. Now, I did a video a while back about how Firefox gets support. Well, they get support from you and me, but they also get support from companies. And one company in particular, I'm not going to spoil that for you. You can do a search who is the biggest supporter of Firefox?